Section 5. MACD Strategy. MACD Crossover. The MACD consists of two moving average based lines, which interact with each other above and below a zero level. When the faster line breaks the slower line in bearish direction while being located above zero, we expect the price to start trending in bearish direction. When the faster line breaks the slower line in bullish direction, while being located below zero, we expect the price to start trending in bullish direction. MACD Histogram The MACD indicator also has a histogram. This histogram displays the exact difference between the faster and the slower line. If the histogram is positive, then the faster line is above the slower line, long signal. If the histogram is negative, then the faster line is below the slower line, short signal. MACD Divergence The moving average convergence divergence is also good for spotting divergences between price and the indicator. If the price is increasing and the MACD is decreasing, then we have a bearish divergence, which indicates that the trend is likely to reverse. The same is in force but in the opposite direction for a bullish divergence pattern. If the price is decreasing and the MACD is increasing, then we have a bullish divergence. In this manner, we expect the bearish trend to switch to bullish activity. MACD Trend Trading Strategy One way to trade trends is by combining trend lines, MACD and the volume indicator. We can try to match signals from the MACD indicator and the potential emerging trend line and perform a volume analysis. Imagine you have an upward price movement on the chart. At the same time, the MACD signals a bullish crossover below the zero, supporting the price increase. In this case, we can look to go long until we see a contrary signal from the MACD. A stop loss order should be placed here below the recent swing bottom. The same technique is enforced for bearish trends. If the price starts accounting for lower tops and lower bottoms, we use a bearish MACD crossover above the zero in order to short a currency pair. The image will show you how exactly this trading strategy works. On this image, you see the H1 chart of the euro to US dollar forex pair. The date is Jan 5, Jan 8, 2016. This example starts with a bullish MACD crossover. Notice that at the time of the crossover and continuing afterwards, the euro to US dollar price is ranging. However, during the horizontal move the euro to US dollar trading volumes are consistently increasing. Suddenly, the price action creates a higher top, breaking the level of its previous top. This clues us into a possible price increase, and after a short correction there is an opportunity for a long position on the chart. The stop loss order should be located right below the bottom, which should be used for the long position. The price action continues with a new impulse on the chart. The following correction nearly hits the suggested stop loss placement. However, the price action doesn't manage to decrease significantly below the previous bottom and the stop loss sustains the danger. The price continues with two more impulse moves and their adjoining corrections. Notice that the MACD indicator is now located in its top area, indicating that we might see the end of this bullish trend soon. However, the trade should be held until the MACD lines signal a bearish crossover as stated in the trading strategy. The last correction on the chart is sharper than usual, which causes the two MACD lines to interact with each other. This acts as an exit signal for this trade and one should close the position for a profit. As an alternative to using the MACD crossover as the exit, you could have also considered waiting for the trend line break instead to close out the long position. Conclusion Understanding price action trends in Forex helps keep trades on the right side of the market. Trends could be bearish or bullish. Bearish trends, they have lower tops and lower bottoms on the chart. Bullish trends, they have higher tops and higher bottoms on the chart. If a trend is not present on the chart, then we have a price range, a sideways price movement. Some ways to visualize a tendency on the chart is by using swing high or low analysis, or the trend line indicator. The trend line is applied by simply connecting the tops, or the bottoms on the chart. When a forex pair is trending, it accounts for two types of movement. Trend impulses, these are the moves in the direction of the trend. They are attractive for trading. Trend corrections, these are the moves which lead the price back to the trend line. They are not as attractive for trading and it is not recommended to trade them if you are not an experienced trader. One way to confirm a trend is to identify the beginning of the third impulse related to the plotted trend line. Volumes are helpful for trend confirmation. Impulses usually happen during higher volumes, while corrections appear during lower volumes. One way to trade trends is by combining trend lines, MACD and the volume indicator. 
Check some images to get a better understanding on these trend lines.